that time of year again. We gotta do something big. We gotta do something memorable, something epic. I did do cheat skipping back in 2015. What is going on everybody? Eric with you guys again with another video. Oh baby Eric. This is the real way to eat the light your fire. Shout out to the big fat fatty. I'm coming for you. Let's do this. We have right here is a full apple pie. We have right here is the salted caramel ice cream from Target Market Pantry. So cute. At one point, at least. Well, it's time to make some magic. Harold, you ready for this? You ready for this? Wait, well, I'm not actually ready. Hold on, one second. Now we're good. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again with another video. Everyone, aren't you just so excited? Aren't you just ready for some epic calorie carnage? That's exactly what you clicked on this video to watch because this is Cheats Giving. Back in 2015, I did the first Cheats Giving video and let me just tell you guys, that was insane. I took down 30,000 calories worth of food. And you know what? For this video, we're gonna be stepping it up a notch or a few notches. If you're unfamiliar with what Thanksgiving is here in America, and I believe Canada also does this as well, we, we give thanks for a day, which means stuffing our faces with a bunch of food. I figured, you know what, why not blend it together with a cheat day and call it cheats giving because that sounds awesome. And you guys know me, I just like to eat a lot of food. So there's my logic. First rule with this everybody is we are not gonna be doing any liquid calories. Well, we'll be keeping them to a minimum like always. Us real eaters, well, we get our calories from as much whole food as possible. Number two, I'm gonna try to keep this as Thanksgiving themed as possible, but there are probably gonna be uh, a few un Thanksgiving like foods in this. But we're gonna try to stick to Thanksgiving themed foods, which means a lot of pumpkin and a lot of turkey. Hope you guys are ready for an insane video. I'm ready to suffer and I'm ready to uh, cram down a lot of food. I hope you're ready. Even if you're not, get ready. Stay tuned and strap in because it's about to be one wild ride. This is Cheats Giving part two. Let's do it. Go. I have no idea why I'm up this early. Now I remember why I'm up this early. It's cheats giving. But first, we gotta get something more important. Oh, we have coffee in our system. Now we can begin cheats giving. This is gonna take way too long. Well, we are here everybody. We are ready to get started. It is currently 8 in the morning. First of all guys, welcome to the video. This is Cheats Giving. I forgot something. Something is definitely missing here. Everyone, I, I thought about this. I really did. But obviously I didn't think about it enough because I realized that I have a 13 pound turkey here. And I was going to eat all of this for dinner tonight. I don't think that's going to happen with the amount of food I'm going to be eating today. I don't really think there's an unspoken rule that says you can't eat turkey for breakfast, so we're going to do just that. We have cereal, we have cinnamon toast crunch churro bites, which come on man, that's just, they smell amazing. We have chocolate chip waffles right here. Everything guys. What am I saying guys? This is a typical Eric the Electric cheat day. I hope you guys are ready for this, just like I am. I've been up since 4.30 this morning, couldn't sleep, so I'm just hoping that uh, this food will give me some energy. I also have some tasty cakes right here, which were sent to me by a loyal subscriber. Thank you very much, official role who's a follower on Instagram. Oh, speaking of which, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you better do just that because guess what? Instagram crew. You guys will get to see all of this live when it happens. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? I still kind of think it is. As per usual, everybody, the total calories for uh, this meal or what I consume for this meal will be posted like right there. And we'll continue to update that throughout the day. <sighs> this is a lot of sweetness and uh, yeah, guys, we're just going to go attack this like a pro. Oh yeah. Don't think I forgot my fruit. It's very, very important. Gotta have a balanced meal here, everybody. Cheats giving is not just about stuffing your face with large amounts of food. You gotta have some health and fitness, right? Without further ado, everybody, 
This is Cheats Giving, meal one. Alrighty guys, so we're obviously, I'm not gonna start with the turkey first. I think that'd be a terrible way to start this. And by the way, the turkey's name is Paul. So everyone say hi to Paul. Paul, everyone, hope you guys got well acquainted. But we're gonna get to this in a little bit. By the way, I went to Costco last night and got some baguettes. So I think we'll make a good sandwich with Paul with the baguettes. Get them well acquainted here in a little bit. We'll start with the waffles, come on. Chocolate chip waffles are delicious. And I pretty much always eat them whenever I do these. And I would have gotten maple syrup, but not today. All right, everybody. Too early for the fitness joke, we can't do that. Look at that, look at that syrup drip, though. It's a work of art. It's cheats giving time, let's do it. My face is already messy. I mean, why even eat waffles with a fortunate knife, right? Boom. Chocolate chips are my best friend. Well, those went quickly. All right, now we gotta get into some of these uh, cinnamon toast crunch bites. I've been told these taste like churros, but we'll see about that right now. Hmm. Skeptical Eric is skeptical, but they're pretty delicious. Oops. All right, Ugh. apples never tasted so good. Well, I just am so excited to see how my first ever turkey came out. I've never actually cooked a turkey before. I just went out last night and I bought a turkey and I cooked it. Can I say I did a pretty good job? I think I did a pretty good job. And no, I'm not one of those people that uses a freaking automatic knife to cut their food. Gotta go through pain, pain and suffering. Eh, that's a good chunk of meat. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just had to give a little taste test. You guys have to balance between sweet and savory. That's just the rule with all of these. That's over there for now. Hot cocoa Oreos. So it's like a chocolate and uh, vanilla filling on the inside. Tastes nothing like a hot cocoa Oreo. Tastes like a normal Oreo. Still a good solid uh, ratio of filling to cracker, I must say. Ugh. This is already a really sweet challenge. Ugh. I don't know why I didn't get this out earlier. gonna come in handy for the cereal. I just wanna say everybody, I am so disappointed in myself for not actually getting a jar of peanut butter. I forgot last night at the store. So disappointed in myself. What is an Eric the Electric challenge without peanut butter? Ugh. Last two Oreos. All right, and here we have tasty cakes. Now these are, apparently they're like little Debbie cakes. We have three crumb cakes and then we have peanut butter. Tasty cakes, which looks really good. Looks pretty solid. Wow! That destroys, destroys Little Debbie cakes. Ugh. Why are you feeling the sugar? This is not good. They're just so light and fluffy. And one of these cakes has 280 calories in it. Sounds good to me. Why did I not discover these sooner? It blows my mind. Meanwhile, the apple's still unfinished. All right, I gotta be honest with you guys. The main reason why I put a piece of fruit into this 
whole video is because you guys seem to think that I eat like this every single day. Just wanna let you know, you gotta watch more than just eating challenge videos. I don't, I promise. I eat my fruit and vegetables. All right. And these are the uh, peanut butter candy cakes. Wow. Absolutely insane. That is the best thing I've tasted that has peanut butter in it in a long time. And that's a very, very bold statement for me. All right, guys, well, we started off a little bit light today. And before I finish my box of cereal, I gotta get started on this baguette. Dentists love me. It's like a baseball bat, dude. Woo! This thing is huge. Look at this, guys. This is almost as big as a sushi roll I ate a few weeks ago. The way that I was always taught to eat Thanksgiving turkey the day afterwards was on a piece of bread with a proper knife. Don't worry, this table's been through so much, I just don't even care anymore. Kids that are watching, please don't ever cut bread like this. <sighs> okay, bread's done. You get your turkey and you put it on this side right here, just like this. And then you have your mayonnaise, just like this. And that's what you call a Thanksgiving leftover turkey sandwich. Just look at that work of art right there. That's a lot better than Subway. And that's some sandwich girth right there, everybody. Well, this turkey actually didn't come out that bad. I said it. I'm gonna be so tired of turkey after today. So tired of it. Thankfully, we have Lucky Charms next. It's probably a big mistake putting this on baguette because this is really, really hard to chew. Desperate times call for desperate measures. A little bit easier. Mayo helps it go down, what can I say? Well, this is gonna be saved for later, and now it is cereal time. By the way, guys, I made a solid dent in this turkey. Eat this leg like a savage right now. Ugh, there we go, turkey leg, Game of Thrones style. Feels good to be a gangster. Boom. All right, well that fun is over with. All you vegans watching probably hate me right now, but I'm sorry, this is Thanksgiving. We traditionally, we don't eat veggie turkeys on Thanksgiving, we eat real turkeys. It smells pretty good. And these are the cinnamon vanilla Lucky Charms. Let's try them out. Can't taste any cinnamon in them, but a pretty good vanilla taste, seven out of 10. Wouldn't buy them again. It's gonna be a long day. There we go. One more milk pour. Gotta get the art of the milk pour mastered. Saying boom, I need to have a bit a better tagline. Uh, dude. You guys probably can't even see that, but whatever. Well, meal one is complete. Now it's time to go do the other thing, alright? I kind of think I do best. You guys ready for this? Let's move. Ah, too much turkey. Paul, why'd you gotta do this to me, Paul? Ah! Alrighty guys, well we are done with our ride for today. Two hours down, feeling pretty good right now. Ooh, I think we just found lunch. All right, in and out it is. We can't just always eat turkey, you gotta have some beef too. Well, it's time to go get some lunch. 
Hold on one second. I've been I've been really bad with this. I've been really bad with this, but 1217 right now. So that was about a two-hour ride. Now, the bad news is, unfortunately, I lost quite a bit of time with the uh, the ride and everything. But the good news is I live right across the street from a very delicious fast food place. So we're gonna go get some food right now. In and out. That's what our hamburgers are all about. Can I get let's see, uh how much are your four by fours? Uh, sorry, I said I do not know. I don't know. Okay. Um, right now, though. no, you're fine. Let me just get four double doubles, please. We'll be three, three orders of fries okay. and a diet Coke, please. All right, so is that to go? Uh, that is to go. Um, I'm good, thank you. Thank you, have a good day. We gotta get a few more things at the store, but it's time to eat some In-N-Out. All right, before we consume this delicious In-N-Out, gotta go get some essentials. Moments later. Stop judging me, all right, stop. I had to get Pop-Tarts and peanut butter. Don't look at me like that. Round two. It's lunchtime. In goodness gracious, it is 12.58 right now. A little bit of a later lunch. I have no idea how many calories I'm at, guys, but uh, <sighs> I gotta finish off that bread and it's looking at me right now like, ugh. Let's see what we got. Woo! Looks so good, it's like Christmas. Except it's Thanksgiving. One double double, two double doubles, three double doubles, four double doubles, one fry, two fries, and three fries. I don't really know how, I think this is probably about two or 3,000 calories, but we gotta bulk this up a little bit more. That says limited edition. Limited edition means calorie free. It's a bad joke because in this case, I, I'm trying to get as many calories as possible, but yeah. Oh, natural peanut butter. This is, this is, Thanksgiving right here. This is pumpkin. Now, typically I don't like pumpkin stuff, but I'm eating this for the sake of the video. So guys, I'm gonna chow down on this and then once my turkey finishes up, oh, I'm not forgetting. Hold on. Pringles, bread, and turkey, which is in the oven. And how could I forget everybody? Come on, Diet Coke. Before I start though, I almost forgot. <clears throat> forgot to take my multivitamin today. <sighs> Gotta get my vitamins in. Good deal. All right, we're ready to go. Everyone, I present to you the Double Double from In-N-Out. Now, if you haven't met the Double Double before, this too holds a very special place in my heart, as it should in yours. And no, I don't mean heart disease. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any worse, but boom. I guess they loaded this one up with onions. My breath is gonna smell just amazing. go so fast. Saucy. Saucy's good. Fries. Now I remember how good in and out fries are. in and out fries and I go way back. Way back. I've had a lot of bread so far today, everybody. A lot of bread. Boom. Yum, yum, yum. The thing I love about in and out the most Everything just tastes super fresh. Now, I know a lot of you have been requesting me, or have requested me, for me to do a supercharged in and out challenge. That might just be happening soon. I just gotta make it through today. Oof, forgot about my Diet Coke and the fact that I bought a jar of peanut butter randomly. Okay, can't believe I didn't do this sooner, but ooh, yum, look at that. 
He needs more fries, actually. Let's go crazy. In and out, double double fry burger thingy. And I have to use my reduced sugar ketchup on the fries. Come on. And essential. Gotta watch our carbs, guys. <laughs> Come on. For the record, I just wanna say this actually tastes almost identical to real ketchup. I know probably 99% of you are gonna disagree with me, but it's true. These are gonna be rather interesting. And these I'm actually really curious about too, which I don't actually wanna eat because my mouth is already torn up, but we're gonna have to do something here. You guys don't actually see it, but I got Paul chilling right to the left of you guys. And Paul's looking at me like, Eric, please don't eat me. Sorry, Paul, I'm gonna have to eat you here in a few minutes. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of salt. Get over here, Paul. Oh man. Let me just say everybody that I have a very, very, very big feast planned for tonight, which includes a lot of stuffing and a lot of potatoes, a lot more potatoes, I should say. I don't wanna to eat too much of you, Paul, but I kinda of have to do something here, buddy. It's not, the human being is not meant to eat this much protein. No, damn it. Luckily it was just water. Is that even meat? Nope, definitely not meat. Oh, there's all the meat. I was wondering where that was. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just ignore me for a second. Pringles loud. It's about to get loud in here. We're gonna ignore the turkeys now. All right, so we got Paul chilling right here. Now, this is the Pringles loud, super cheesy Italian. They are grain and vegetable crisps. We should, aren't these supposed to make noise? Just like pop in your mouth, no? Way off the mark, Eric, way off the mark. It's a lot of salt, man. Pringles are down. Now, I kinda need to get into this turkey, but let's see what we can do. I'm cutting turkey with a bread knife. I'm a winner, I know. I know you guys are just gonna roast me in the comment section below. I have no idea why I got these. No idea. I'm gonna go to the gym after this. <laughs> okay? I can't eat pop tarts. I mean, I'm still impressed by the fact that I cooked Paul rather well. I know for a fact I wouldn't have been able to eat this entire turkey in one sitting, at least not with everything else I bought. So spacing it out throughout the day was probably the smarter move. Did I get to this peanut butter though? The first time, I think one of the first times I've ever actually used natural peanut butter in a challenge. One of my favorite things to do with bread is dip it in peanut butter. I think a lot of people agree with me. It's delicious. See, just do that. And there you go, just like that. Got your healthy fats and your carbs. <sighs> All right, let's see how these taste. And now I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin, so let's see here. That is a pumpkin pop tart. I mean, there's nothing really else I can say about that. <laughs> I 
double trouble. So uh, yeah, I mean, you got some pretty strong pumpkin taste in this. I hate to be just a downer, everybody, but the, I'm just not a huge fan of pumpkin at all. I'm just so glad I had Diet Coke to wash all this down. <laughs> Come on, guys, you do the same thing, all right? You gotta save your calories somehow. And you also knew that this was coming. Ready, ready, ready? Boom, double boom. This is how we get things down. Boom. I'll stop at the booms, but can you just say, fitness, fitness whole peanut butter Pop-Tart sandwich in my mouth. You knew it was coming. Whew. Peanut butter just makes everything better. It really does. I remember that I needed to get this piece of bread down. Why did I buy this? It's not even 2 p.m. and I just want it to be over. I feel like I dislocated my jaw eating that piece of bread. All right guys, so half the peanut butter jar is down. No more peanut butter, no more, no more. Oh my gosh, oh. One fifty-five. We are done. Meal number two. We're gonna have more food to eat, including Paul. You best believe we gotta go to the gym. I do. My brother watches you. Oh really? That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, I guess when I walk around with the camera, people kind of figure that. Yeah, I don't suggest watching me unless you're really, really hungry. <laughs> it's 4.15. Ugh, probably can't see that even though I showed it to you, who cares? This is the point of the video, guys, where uh, I answer some questions that you guys are probably gonna have when you're watching this. I've been getting a lot of Snapchats today from people asking me what my favorite part of this was. Uh, let's just say tonight's dessert is gonna be my favorite part, I know that for sure. The second question, Eric, how do you not end up 500 pounds doing things like this? Guys, two words, calorie control. What's been the worst part of the challenge so far? Honestly, everybody, I'm finding that the more I do these, for example, my 40,000 calorie cheat day that I did back in September, I think, my mouth entirely just gets so screwed up from all the food. Today, that bread just scratching against the roof of my mouth, the cereal scratching against the roof of my mouth. People, when you eat things like this in large quantities, you're not supposed to eat them in large quantities like that. It's kind of a downer and I really hate it, but I guess that's what you gotta deal with, right? Do me a favor, guys. If you're with me still in this video, this is not a clip of me eating food or doing anything related to eating, let's say, uh, comment down below, ready for carbs miss, if you guys are still with the uh, whole flow of the video right now. I'll show you some love. Now, everybody, it's time for me to get to uh, the final meal. It's time for this to be over. If only it could stop at just stuffing and mashed potatoes. It doesn't. Pumpkin cheesecake, anyone? 
and the rest of Paul. The one thing I've actually, well, I've been looking really forward to the, the pumpkin cheesecake, don't get me wrong, but I managed to find at my local Target a gigantic lint truffle, lint chocolate truffle, I think they're called, but it's 1400 calories for all that chocolate. I mean, aren't you just amazed? I am. And I'm also slightly scared about taking in that much chocolate, but you know what? Everyone, I thought I'd go out with a bang, so here we are. This is the final meal, everybody. We have mashed potato stuffing, stupid me. How could I forget? Cranberry sauce. I have no idea what I'm actually gonna be putting this on or in, but I'm gonna use it because I bought it. This is gonna suck. So here's what we're gonna do, everybody. Here's where we're at currently for the day, right there. I do believe that I finish all this, I will get to that number right there. And of course, you guys will see the macronutrients at the very end of uh, all of this. To go with this beautiful cheesecake, I have some fat-free Cool Whip. I know it makes no sense. That's the joke. Everyone, without further ado, let's get to the final meal. All right guys, so I'm deciding to go with my uh, turkey first. Well, we're gonna start with the turkey. It is 6.39 and we're gonna start with the turkey first. And cheers to Paul. Let's finish strong. Already boarded the turkey. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, every American household pretty much makes stuffing for Thanksgiving, which is basically just bread and like two other things, I think. I was never personally a fan. I was always about sweet potato casserole <coughs> for whatever reason. I didn't make that for <coughs> cheap giving. I literally don't know what else I'm gonna mix this cranberry sauce in with, but we're gonna do it with the stuffing. A little bit of turkey, get a little bit of everything. That is a Thanksgiving bite right there. I should have pulled the cranberry sauce out a long time ago. There's like 7,000 calories in that cheesecake right there. There's some mashed potatoes over here. I actually like these more than anything. Refreshing. Something's missing though. Garlic salt. Garlic salt for days. <sighs> My mouth and stomach are just so toast right now. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Nope. Gross. Just don't do it guys, don't ever do that. Very, very poor decision on my part. Well, very, very poor. Like, I really should have thought that out before I did it. Man. All right, we're going for pack of food. Savory stuff is done, woo! So I gotta work on this turkey a little bit more. Sorry, Paul. I'm just gonna let you guys know, I've eaten this in the past. Who remembers what challenge I've done this cheesecake with in the past? Comment down below, let me know. But hold on, cashew milk. And we have this lint truffle, which we're gonna unwrap right now. I knew it, I knew it. No! Ugh, that was a giant trouble. Hopefully these are good. I haven't had these in like 10 years. Let's try one. Ooh! Okay. Oh, you guys gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with these. Look at that filling though. Ooh! Can't even see it, but whatever. Oh well, I tried. Kudos to Lindor. Use our knife here without cutting yourself like an idiot like Eric would. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that, look at that greatness. Look at that greatness. Hit that thumbs up button if you think that's great. I do. Whew. It's like an explosion of chocolate in your mouth. 
Go. Unfortunately, though, they crack open if you are a little overly, well, let's just say not too gentle with them. Gotta be gentle. These things are amazing, dude. This is my favorite part of the challenge so far. Cheesecake. The cheesecake is gonna hurt so bad. I have a 7,000 calorie cheesecake in front of me. I don't even know where to start, man. They already like pre slice them for you, which is really funny because I don't go by portion sizes. And would you look at that? When you want to go full savage mode, ah, you eat it off the knife or not. That's what happens when you try to go full savage mode and it just ends up failing. I should probably be using a fork, but I don't really care. Cream on here. Ooh, nice and light, which is definitely like the opposite of what this cake actually is. We have whipped cream. Whipped cream just makes everything better, even if it's fat free. Who cares? No words. Cashew milk is a savior right now. Straight up savior. Mm. Oh, that is the best freaking part of this cake. Cheesecake, it's cheesecake, not normal cake. I know what I'm talking about, I'm just a little delirious right now. Just a little bit. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm gonna have such a big food baby after this. Did it for you guys, all right? Did it for you guys. Well, we have a quarter of the cheesecake left. You guys always tell me I need to be more clean when I do these challenges anyway, so. So close. Waiting for the end to come, wishing I had strength to stand. Shout out to you, Chester. Everyone, this is the final bite in the cheats giving challenge. Well, guys, thank you again for watching another calorie challenge. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know down in the oh, oh, it hurt. Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys liked what you saw and you want another glorious cheat day, you gotta hit that thumbs up button. If we get this video to over 10,000 likes, I'll do something similar for Cosmos. So go hit that like button down below. I was warning, crazy day. Like I said, follow me on my social media: Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. Go right ahead.